Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at a video that describes forces as a vector, so we can answer questions from exercise 10b. So, uh, just remember back to pure maths we've got this i and j notation where i is representing one movement to the right, and if it was minus i it'd be moving to the left, and j is representing movement of one upwards, um, if we wanted to go downwards, you'd have minus j's. And then we, effectively, we can then locate any points in a Cartesian grid by a combination of i's and j's. And sometimes they're written in column notation. So either it's written as a i plus b j, or this is written as a b in column notation like that. Okay, so what we've got here, um, to link it back into forces, is we've got th four forces acting on a diagram. We've effectively got, let's just set up a Cartesian grid here, we've got one force that's going two to the right and three up, so it's pulling it in that direction. We've got one force that's acting in four to the right and one down, so one pulling it in this direction. One force that's pulling it three to the left and two up, so in that direction there. And then another force, xi plus yj, probably down in this direction here somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and it's the question is, the particle is in equilibrium, so that means if the particle is in equilibrium, then all of these forces will cancel out with each other, find the value of x and y. So the way that we can get these, part these uh, vectors here to cancel each other out is if we set up an equation where we add all of these vectors together. And then all we have to do is just group all the i's and the j's together and then work out what x needs to be. Well, x needs to be minus 3 and y needs to be minus 4. So yeah, pretty much as I've got the diagram here, minus 3 and minus 4. So your vector here is going to be minus 3i minus 4j. Okay, so that's how you set up an equation to set some particles to equilibrium. In another question here, we're looking at uh, a way that we can represent i and j by using it to represent east and north directions. A particle is at rest at the origin. It's acted upon by three forces, 2i plus j, 3i minus 2j, and minus i plus 4j. And the questions are, find the resultant force of the form. Now, the resultant force, that's a, it's a difficult word, but all it means is add up all of your forces together. And then the part B is work out the magnitude and the bearing of the resultant force. Describe the motion of the particle. So all you need to do for the resultant force is add your forces together. And that is the resultant force. It's 4i plus 3j. And that's part A done. Part B, work out the magnitude and bearing of the resultant force. Now the magnitude is effectively this straight line distance that would take into account 4i and 3j going in a straight line from one point to the other. So you can see here, this obviously sets up a little bit of Pythagoras' theorem. 4 squared plus 3 squared is 5 newtons. So in this case here, the force that's on this line here is a 5 newton force. Now the bearing, remember the bearing has to be measured from north. So we'll have to draw in our north line here to start with. So although we've got 36.9 here, oh, it's done it for me, we're going to have to measure round to 53.1. So the 53.1 bearing is in here, and that is the bearing of the, um, of the uh, force here. Part C is describe the motion of the particle. Well, the particle is accelerating because it has a non-zero force. Okay, so that's all we need to do for that part of the question then. So um, have a go at these two questions here then, pause the video and try them out. All right then, so question three gives us three forces, A to B minus A to minus B and three minus four, act on an object that's in equilibrium, find the values of A and B. Well, as our forces are in equilibrium, we should be able to add them together 
and work out what A and B is. Now you can also do this in column notation as well if you prefer. You can always switch between column notation and IJ notation as you wish. So this is going to be minus A plus 3 and this is going to be B minus 4. Now if we want something to be in equilibrium then it must be equal to the 0, 0 vector. So therefore A is equal to 3 because minus 3 plus 3 is 0 and B is equal to 4 because 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. There we are, that's all we need to do for part 3. 5a, uh, we have three more vectors here, work out the resultant vector. Now the resultant vector is just a posh way of saying add them together. So it's effectively minus 2, add 5 minus 1 on the i's, and this is going to be 1 plus 2 minus 4, on the j's and we'll simplify our answer here so we'll get 2i minus j and that's the result in vector. Work out the magnitude of the vector. Well if I was to draw out this vector it would be 2 to the right and 1 down so what is the distance straight from this point here to this point here that's going to be 2 and a 1 so that's going to be the square root of 5 newtons from a bit of Pythagoras' theorem, 2 squared plus 1 squared square rooted. Find the bearing, well in this case here, here is my north line, here is uh, my 90 degree angle going round, here is my second angle that's going to be here. And I'm going right, okay then, so here we're going to have a trigonometric um, triangle, we've got a right angle here, we've got uh, tan because we've got opposite and adjacent, so it's tan minus 1 of... Uh, opposite over adjacent, so that's a half, which gives me 26.6 degrees. Uh, but remember, the bearing is going to be this 90 degree angle plus the 26.6. So the bearing in this case here is going to be the two of them added together, which is going to give me 117 when I round to three significant figures. Okay, there we are. So that's the answer to these two questions. Remember, the resultant vector is just add them together. Magnitude is Pythagoras' theorem. Bearing is just a little bit of trigonometry work. Right, thanks very much for watching. Have a go at the exercises in uh, 10b. Um, persevere through the difficult ones. Make sure you have a go at the last ones that challenge you. And thanks very much for watching.